Joining us now to talk more about this and provide some insight on U.S.-China relations as the Speaker of the House does plan that potential trip to Taiwan, Allison Jaslow, former Executive Director of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so, so we're talking about this prisoner swap here. Put this into context. How rare is it for the U.S. government to come forward with an offer like this for this type of swap? So usually prisoner swaps um, happen with military prisoners. Uh, your viewers may remember, uh, I think it was probably about 10 years ago when Bro um, Bergdahl, excuse me, Sergeant Bergdahl uh, was traded for uh, Taliban prisoners from Guantanamo Bay. Uh, he was captured by the Taliban and that's the way we were able to get him home. Um, with civilian swaps, uh, it's a lot less common. I actually think the U.S. government tries to avoid doing these kinds of prisoner swaps um, for the spe specific purpose that we don't want um, American citizens to be vulnerable to be taken hostage abroad. Uh, but the administration, uh, as you might know, earlier this year did a similar swap. Um, so my hope is, is that they've fleshed out a, a good deal here and that hopefully we'll have Brittany Griner home soon. Well, you know, Allison, Secretary Blinken today said that, that this office, offer actually came last month. So what do you think Russia is weighing in their response? And do you think they'll respond at all? I um, expect them to respond. Obviously, there's a lot going on between Russia and the United States with the re Ukraine war happening right now. I do know that um, Governor Bill Richardson, who is very commonly intervened in these situations was over in Russia recently. Um, so hopefully a lot of the behind the scenes talks have, have finally given us a breakthrough here. You know, there hasn't been news to this point and a lot of concern for such a high profile case. So I'm hoping that now that we have news that we've actually gotten to a good place. So we'll see. All right, we wanna shift now from Russia to China. Uh, you know, China is, is vowing fierce retaliation if Nancy Pelosi does in fact visit. Do you think, Allison, is this more of a typical saber rattling between the U.S. and China or something that is really worth raising concern? My personal opinion, I think it's saber rattling. I mean, the definition of saber rattling is to sort of freak you out into not doing something. Um, but the reality is here, the policy hasn't changed. Um, you know, obviously, China is not a friend, but Taiwan is. Um, and for economic reasons, we need to have a good and strong relationship with Taiwan. Um, so hopefully we can just, you know, weather the, the bluster here um, and, and not let China bully us around, to be honest. Well, you know, the Pentagon's already making plans for Pelosi's protection. We know that she's now potentially inviting others to come with her. But what does it take to protect a high ranking U.S. lawmaker like Speaker Pelosi in what's really a contentious part of the world? Yeah, and the trick was, is this is a contentious part of the world where we aren't already at war, right? So like if you send a congressional delegation on the ground in Iraq or Afghanistan, there would already be a military presence there. And so they would have additional security, but perimeters would already be secured. Um, so the U.S. military will really have to step up if this is a, a trip that she's making, not just because she's there. And remember, she's the, the third in line in the chain of command uh, in the United States, but also because other members of Congress, I think, are reported to go with her. Um, so they'll have to put a presence on the ground and then also, um, you know, be able to secure the individuals who are there traveling with them. Yeah, certainly a lot uh, potentially at stake there. Okay. Allison Jaslow, thank you. Thank you for having me. Have a great evening. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.